similar situation happened with my son. He did his first tournament about four or five months ago, um, a really competitive bracket he was in. There was like 20 kids in his division. And it was a local tournament, so they combined a bunch of different kids. So he was doing it for about one year at that point, and he was going up against kids who were doing it for three or four years who were in the same weight bracket as him. He's a solid boy, so he's pretty heavy. Um, he's just all muscle. So he's th he's the thick. He's a strong kid. Um, so he's in a weight bracket with kids. He's in the right age in weight bracket, but he's with kids who are a lot more experienced than him. Um, and we were watching a couple kids roll because he had about an hour wait. And there was this one kid. Anytime someone did anything to him that he didn't like, this kid was just crying and sobbing and looking over at his parents. He, oh, he didn't want to be there. He was miserable. And I felt really bad for the kid. And this happened every single round. At the end of the round, he would lose, and then he would cry, and he'd be sitting on the ground. And his parents were being super helpful. But, um, you know, I, I was able to talk to Nathan about that. I said, all right, Nathan, look, this kid's rolling right now. He, Do you think he's going to win or lose? And Nathan said, I think he's going to lose. I said, why? He says, well, because he's not as good as the other kid. I said, no, that's not why. I said, why do you think he's going to lose? He said, because he's crying? I said, yeah. I said, he, whenever he makes a mistake, Nathan, he's not learning from it. He is thinking about the mistake, and he's telling himself he's not good enough. I said, what would you do if some kid – I said, what are you going to do when a kid gets you in a bad move? Are you going to quit, or are you going to learn from it? I said, I'm going to learn from it. And whether he truly believed that or not doesn't matter. They have to say the right things, and then they begin to believe it. Um, so the kid lost. He was crying. And I said, okay, Nathan, when you lose, because, you know, he's, he was um, seven years old at the time. He's going to lose some tournaments. I said, when you lose, are you going to quit, or are you going to use that to grow and get stronger and learn what to do to fix it? And he said, I'm going to learn what to do to fix it. I said, good. So he had four matches. He lost two of them. The very first one he lost. And he didn't cry. He didn't freak out. He just—he was—he definitely was disappointed. But as soon as he walked off, I patted him on the back and said, awesome job, Nathan, for your very first tournament. That took so much courage for you to get out there and do that. So many other kids don't have the guts to do what you just did. Here's what we can do to fix, what, to fix that one thing. And I took him down on the mat, and we practiced the move that he needed that would have helped him um, beat the other kid. So he used it as a learning experience. He won the next two matches. Um, and then he lost the fourth match to a kid who was way more experienced than him. But after it was all done, he didn't win a medal. Um, won two, lost two. He didn't give up. He said, I want to do another tournament immediately. He was pumped about what he just did. And he was re we framed everything that happened, that he did an amazing job. He did, you know, so courageous and brave to do that. And he learned a ton for his next tournament. And he was happy, and he wanted to sign up for a new tournament immediately afterwards, which we did. And then the next tournament he did, he won gold. Okay, he was um, won every match. We used jujitsu as a tool for teaching him what to do um, in life. You know, there's you're going to lose things. Winners in life are great at losing. You know, they they lose and they don't let it kill them. Okay, winners in life are great at losing. Winners lose all the time. They just get up and they lose. Losers lose all the time but stay down. Okay, They think the world is turned against them when they lose. Winners, when they lose, think the world is teaching them something. It's a huge difference. And I want my son to think that way. Whenever you make a mistake or fail, it's not the world is against you. It's the world is showing you an opportunity to get better. If you have that perspective, you can, do, you can overcome anything. And if you have that thinking from the time you're really little, man, nothing's going to be too big for you, too big of an obstacle for you to overcome. Nothing is too big of a challenge. And through jujitsu, through physical pain and anxiety and stress, you know, that's supervised and safe, um, we can teach our kids to do those things.